Pondicherry, made sacred by Sri Aurobindo and the mother. Here is the Sri Aurobindo ashram, looked upon by many as a mighty center of a new world, a cradle of a new civilization. It is a laboratory of research in yoga and education. People from all over the world, from the East and from the West, have come here with a spirit of dedication to live and work for the divine manifestation on the earth. Not to flee or escape from life, not merely to meditate, but to transform and divinize life. Even the work of industry and commerce, as much as the work of gardening and bakery. Here is all life education and all education, the integral yoga. It is in the environment of such an all-embracing laboratory of mankind that Sri Aurobindo considered the formation of an education center as one of the best means to prepare future humanity. The mother, the spiritual collaborator of Sri Aurobindo, in order to give a concrete shape to this conception, opened the Sri Aurobindo International Center of Education on December 2nd, 1943. An unprecedented experiment in education is being carried on here with some 700 students and more than 150 teachers drawn from all over the world. Look at the sunny-eyed children vibrating with joy and curiosity as they participate in a variety of educational games. Children are admitted from the age of two and a half. Here they play and learn through play. They also sing in English, French, Sanskrit, and their mother tongue. Children are looked upon as souls to be fostered and cherished. Every child is unique with a long history of his evolution, moving forward to the new future. The child is a bud, and petal by petal, it blossoms into a full-blown lotus by an inner drive or force and growth. Sri Aurobindo says, the first principle of teaching is that nothing can be taught. The teacher is a helper and a friend, an example, an influence, a guide. What is at the bottom of the sea? They could have asked any other question, and they would have been free to investigate with the help of the teacher. All this expresses a new system of education which attempts to embody Sri Aurobindo's vision of education. It is called the Free Progress System. Here students do not come to listen to lectures, but to learn by themselves. Every student is free to choose his subject of study to choose his own pace of progress and, within limits, to choose his own teachers. Nothing is imposed on him from outside. He has come to ask a question. The teacher gives him a hint by which the student can discover the answer for himself. The teacher only advises what book to consult and where the answer may be found. what is integral education, but can you tell us what it means precisely? 
You don't know it? This is exactly what we are trying to do here. Education, to be complete, must have five principal aspects relating to the five activities of the human being. The physical, vital, mental, psychic, and spiritual. You spoke just now of the vital education. Could you tell us what it is? The education of the vital, as you know, has two main aspects. The first is to develop and utilize the sense organs. The second is to become conscious and gradually master of one's character and in the end to achieve its transformation. They often come with really stimulating questions such as I feel that the only important thing is to know oneself. But how to do it? Oh, a submarine. These boys have made it themselves. Now they want to make a full working model which can work in the sea. And here is the report of their work, all done by themselves. And look at this space project, perfect in scale and detail, made by boys and girls between the ages of 12 and 14. Children between 10 and 13 have produced this book on the solar system, each one reporting on a planet of his own selection. The free progress system is followed even in the case of students doing higher studies. The free progress system is free because it is not prefabricated. It is free because it is not imposed on any individual. It is free because it encourages each one to break the shackles of the past and to explore the future and its many possibilities. In the words of the mother, free progress is progress guided by the soul and not enslaved by habits, conventions and preconceived ideas. Yes, French. Here science subjects are learnt through French and the humanities through English. In addition, each one learns his own mother tongue and Sanskrit. There is also provision to learn 18 languages. This is the laboratory for physics and chemistry. A museum of geological specimens. The students have made this working model of a computer. Here is a group of students doing an important project in physics under leading authority in physics from France. This is one of the rooms of silence. Here the students can study undisturbed, relax, reflect or meditate, for it is only in silence that true knowledge can be received. A room of silence is the nursery of the soul. The library has a collection of more than a hundred thousand books, some of them very rare and priceless. The artistic atmosphere of the library acts as an impetus to study.
Various forms of art, Eastern and Western, commingle here. Students and teachers develop new forms and styles of painting. Vital power, light, concentration, calm, stillness. Students here dream of perfection and of the kingdom of heaven on earth, not of degrees and diplomas, for they are not given here to the students. From the kindergarten to the postgraduate course, they are working hard to create a new future, not merely to be a good citizen of one's country or of the world, but to transcend the limitations of man, to ascend into a superman. A new form of music, neither Eastern nor Western, and yet a blend of both. The inspiration comes from the innermost regions of a new consciousness. The center of education is international, not only because teachers and students come from all parts of the world, not because they learn of human unity, but because they express international unity in all forms of art, literature, dance, drama. Thou art the root of Rajasthan. But roses have thorns. And see, I have a sword. <laughs> Think thou that pretty toy will save thee from me? Take me if you can. Thus then I take you. <laughs> foul play! Foul play! It was not fair to rob me of my sword. Call you this fighting? I'll not use myself. Not content with the evocation of the potentialities of the soul, the life energies and the mind, the scheme provides for the full development of the physical body. A system of an all-round physical education has been developed under the guidance of the mother to help the building of the body into a beautiful temple of the divine, healthy and strong. Here boys and girls receive equal opportunities and facilities and an attempt is made to study the Eastern and Western systems of physical education so as to create something new for the ideal of spiritual perfection.
Here is a field open to ever new ideas through books, journals and magazines coming here from all over the world. Education is not information. It is a development of personality and character. In the playground, the children have an opportunity to develop the qualities of courage, swift judgment and action, of teamwork, obedience to leadership, and the acceptance of success or failure with good grace. Every year on the 2nd of December, to celebrate the anniversary of the Center of Education, there is a display of physical culture consisting of a variety of items. As the mother says, we are here to lay the foundations of a new world. All the virtues and skills required to succeed in athletics are exactly those physical man must have to be fit for receiving and manifesting the new force. Education is a process to discover the inner soul, which alone knows and expresses what is its true role in life and how to prepare for it. Helping students to do this is the main objective of the center of education. This objective is well expressed in the student's prayer. Make of us the hero warriors we aspire to become. May we fight successfully the great battle of the future that is to be born against the past that seeks to endure so that the new things may manifest and we be ready to receive them. <laughs> 